It's time for the next one. Let's go. Welcome back to the show. Um, today we are doing the build and possible review of the other friends. Four one seven five three. It's the it's the um pancake shop. Which has a wheelchair in it and a bunny. Benoit, as they call them. Benoit. It's not cat, so I'm going to cat cafe. But this build might get integrated into the cat cafe in some way, shape, or form. I might even use that build, actually, you know, I talked about last time, but having a food-related thing next to the cat, that pancake thing might be what I do. Um, and maybe that sign will go out front of the cat cafe, of like their menu, or maybe on some sort of part of it out front, I'm not sure. But we'll build the set, and then I'll sort of think about deconstructing it and doing stuff later. Um, go back. A base plate, base plate's always very useful. Big base plate pieces, always useful. It is annoying to stick them on the base plate, especially if they're unofficial LEGO base plates. Sorry, LEGO. You guys just don't do the base plates anymore. It's not my fault. <clears throat> Maybe we actually do base plates instead of a really overpriced, expensive road plates, which are nice because they're bricks, but they're not base plates. Stop doing those and actually, I mean, I know you do like big, like big grey ones, but that's not the point. I like the ones which it has the sort of the flat tire-like thing that has the roads on it. I like those. I get that also there's the whole factor of all well, the road plate system. You can kind of widen your roads if you want to do like, you know, if you're doing the four wide car system, you can make them a bit small with a different base. If you're doing the eight wide, like the um, the speed champion stuff, you can make it a bit wider if you want to. Well, I just personally have the idea of just the speed champs that be just stupidly wide because they're premium cars essentially. But we have backs anyway. Ranting, ranting, and raving over. These are oddly thick. These friends ones. Like I think it's because they put less instructions per page, so it's like less steps per page. It's a bit weird to me. They're so thick and big. But I'm not even just used to poly bags. But yeah, um, let's get a look at this then. So I'm just gonna find the mini for your stuff first. I'll be right. I'll jump cut though. So we are back, um, the wheelchair is, as I stated, clearly designed for the mini doll scale, but I think you might be able to fit a mini figure on it, sort of, you might just lean them back slightly. Um, but it definitely sort of feels more like a, yeah, I could see this being used like a racing wheelchair, so like you lean back slightly for like aerodynamics and sort of wee! But it's cool, first wheelchair, um, which is actually not the cheapest pieces for, as far as I'm oh, for cool of like the Lego accessory stuff, so I appreciate getting one. In a budget set. Uh, and the Benoit. Benoit's Benoi cute. Again, it's that weird, slightly bluish type one. So bluish gray. Um, bit weird, but fine. And the hair pieces here, kind of cool. I always. The one thing I do like about the Lego Pants Mini Dolls, I've always said, is that they do cool hair pieces. Um, the ones in the previous set, the guy's hair piece, I think I am going to use that on a custom minifigure, which I'll actually have to get a torso printed uh, custom uh, through the Lego uh, Minifigure Core Shop. And I will even tell you what that is, a little tidbit. I'm going to try and do Kingdom Hearts Roxas. I'm not sure what I'm going to do his Organization 13 version, or if I'm going to do his Twilight Town digital version. Um, I think I might go with the latter, because I am... I might even do both, to be honest, because I am intending to do every single member of Organization 13. And the hairpiece from that guy is unique enough you could go, okay, that's clearly Roxas and not Syax, for example. Um, as for these hair pieces, uh, I think I know exactly what I'm gonna use this for. So I think this is the same as like Ariel's hair piece from like the Disney stuff. It might be, but I might actually use this as a sig fig for one of my uh, family. Um, and that one's just cool. I think that this is relatively common hair piece for this sort of line in this brown. I've had it in red before. Um, I wish it was actually kind of shorter, and still had that. Because if this was that color and in red, uh, I could use that for copying. My current copying hair piece is not fantastic. Because uh, the flick piece, that's on the wrong side of the head for my copying figure. Um, this hair piece is just too long for that. It's in the right color, but too long. But yeah, I, again, mini dolls kind of cool, but they're just not mini figures and it just looks weird. And I don't like the fact that you can, can't really move his legs individually. Legs are fucking fused together. 
You could have added, like, a knee joint, like a dainty little knee joint that doesn't have to be too dainty. But, like, bruh, why do the mini dolls that are dolls have less articulation than the minifigures? Why? Why? They, the hands don't even rotate. Come on. Anyway, enough complaining, enough ranting. I'm going to get into the build, which we're going to go straight to the end of the build. This is only a one. It's in three bags, but it's just one straight start to finish. It doesn't go bag one, bag two, bag three. So I'll meet you at the end. Bye for now. Jump cut time. And we are back. So here's the main build, which is quite cute. I do very much like this cut, this specific cake top style um, chocolate piece for the pancakes. I think it's been done before. I think it's on the, it might have originally been a collectible minifigure series piece for cake of some description, but I do appreciate them. I realize a lot of life to stack of pancakes more so than just a 2x2 two two brick, essentially, or 2x2 two two uh, plate. Uh, the awning is very pretty, very nice. I like this piece particularly. These pieces already existed, but this night is nice. I think it was an existing piece, but it's just nice getting that sort of pale pink salmon. Uh, pancakes was good. Uh, the, the sauces, I like the inclusion of like, I think it's like syrup, maple syrup and like chocolate sauce. It's just a nice little inclusion, a little fire. Uh, this little fire um, extinguisher, very nice inclusion, just a little cute thing. Uh, the fact that the burner has uh, a dial and a pressure gauge kind of thing, for temperature. Uh, the whisk build is adorable and very actually very interesting. Uh, even as a play feature, sort of. Um, I might modify this to remove that, or maybe I won't, maybe it's just a Maybe it's just part of the world mechanism. But I do like that in particular, the mixing machine. Um, good for the bakery kind of thing. This might well become sort of the bakery counter um, of the cat cafe. It might even be well be one of those like it's a semi -a -la, a la carte kind of thing. So you go up to the partition between the kitchen and the main cafe bit to pick up your order, or you can see it cooking kind of thing. It's a kind of pretty thing could possibly do something like that. Uh, here is the menu board, which is literally just a 2 by 3 tile with a bar piece at the back. Um, so that's very easy to modify into something. Uh, this is, I think, one of the chairs, the cushion chair. And the table. Pretty cool. I would have rather had this be round, to be honest, but it's cool. The table's a nice build. And get this little mini tree thing, which I might put somewhere. It might even potentially go on top of the building um, as like a mini rooftop garden thing to use rooftop space a little bit better. But uh, yeah, that is the build. Uh, there's a lot of these sets in particular seem to have a lot of small pieces to use, uh, bunk spare. So those will definitely be useful. Um, you can get a spare one of these ladybugs, which are is in the corner here. So it's right in this corner here. Uh, there's a ladybug. So a spare ladybug, which is cool. I like insects. I appreciate it. it's very difficult to make insects uh, for, for Lego scale stuff. Uh, you get spiders and ants and stuff. It's nice to see a ladybird for the first time. Uh, I don't know if that's a new print, but it's still nice to get a spare regardless. It adds a little bit of extra life to a cityscape. Same with the butterfly in the cat, cat, uh, cat hotel. But yeah, uh, this is a good set. Um, I don't think there's anything you could add as a set for this price point. Maybe one more cup of something, like a strawberry sauce or something. I don't know. It's like a pinkish red, maybe, with like a sticker, maybe like a printed strawberry piece and an already existing piece would be nice. But that's just semantics at this stage. Maybe another printed pancakes in this pancake shop. I don't know for certain. But, celebrate. Um, anyway, on that note, let me guys, let me know what you guys think about this set. Um, another quick sort of spin around. And I shall see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my affiliate links, uh, my Twitch stuff, my throne, etc. If you want to see more reviews of any particular request up on there, or if you are, I'm not asking, but it would be amazing if you contributed to future videos, and I don't have all the money in the world to review, especially bigger sets, but things like that. Um, but yeah, keep the uh, the train going, so to speak. But thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now, everybody. Pleasant honks.